Hello guys, this is Lincoln, and today I'm doing another Catacomb video, but with another focus. In my last movie, I discussed how to use the energy level on your heroes efficiently, keeping track of the energy level after each fight, and you can actually switch your heroes or use it to your advantage um, if you know how to do. Today I want to discuss uh, the formation of your team because it actually depends on what opponents you will meet. So in a normal fight my setup will look like this where I actually have Deva in the front because she will actually get backed up when the, the melee opponents start running against her. The two, uh, my two melees in the back will actually run forward passing her and then stopping the opponents normally. Uh, so uh, I am doing this position because then she can actually hit three opponents in the center at, at once with her skill. So that's really nice. Uh, but this only works uh, on, uh, I would say, normal teams. But if you have, um, depending on the setup of the opponents, you need to switch. Um, and if you would have, for example, uh, some opponents with... Um, some hard-hitting melee team, uh, a lot of assassins or stuff like that, uh, or even uh, hard-hitting uh, mages and uh, rangers, I guess, as well, then you might not want to have Daeva in the front and you would have to put her in the back. So it all comes down to the opponents you will meet uh, for each fight. So. It's not always best just having what your standard position and do every fight like this. If you are strong enough, you don't have to watch this movie and you just nuke everything. But if you actually are struggling with the catacombs, this is what I would recommend. For each boss fight, you check what you, you are facing. And in this case, for example, we have Dorian. And Dorian is a little special since he has this hook and drag skill. So he, he will actually drag the one in the back. So if I would have Daeva in the back, or uh, Dr. Wolfgang in the bat, he would drag her to, to him and then she would actually die very fast. So in this case, it's actually not a bad idea having her in the front. And then, in the same way, um, you can look at uh, the position of Dorian. If he's on the left side, in this case he, or he is on the left side, then you want your heavy melee uh, team on the, the right side. Since then he will actually be dragging uh, a tank or a melee to him instead of those squishy supporters or uh, mages. So this setup is a lot better than, in, for example, this setup. Both um, are in the front, uh, my, uh, my tank and my Dr. Wolfgang, but if I have Dr. Wolfgang in the... On the right side, when Dorian is on the left side, he will be hooked and killed at once. So what I want to do is having Dr. Wolfgang on the same side as Dorian, so he won't be killed. And then you want a tank on the right side, so he will be dragged to Dorian. So let's see if this strategy will work. And here we go. You can see Dorian on the left side. He drags and hooks the, our tank at once. And if this would have been Dr. Wolfgang, Dr. Wolfgang would have been killed at once. It's not as a big problem with Grimmer since he's a tank and also he can revive since he's six star. Uh, my Grimmer is six star, so it's even easier. And there you go, boom. They didn't go for my mage, but if I would have had Dave in the back, Dorian would have hooked her and uh, now she was in the front and I had two melee in the back and they were running forward so then Dorian chose the tank uh, the first away from him which was our plan. So this is things you could think on when you're doing the fights if you wonder why you died this is probably one of the reasons if you meet Dorian in the team you need to think a little different. Until next time, guys. Bye.